Namaste everyone. I'm Ramya and I'm a fellow student doing my master's in France. So if you're watching this video, it's pretty sure that you have got an admission uh, in one of the abroad colleges and now you're packing for your abroad studies. So congratulations. Firstly, um, I would like to say that I also did face a lot of problems when it, come, uh, when it came to my packing essentials. So I had to look uh, into a lot of portals and ask around a lot of people who have already traveled abroad. So stick with me throughout this series where I'm going to explain step by step what are the things that you need to carry with you when you're traveling to a cold country for your studies. So this entire series is going to be based on a budgeted packing where we talk about all the documents that are necessary, your toiletry kits, your food, spices, all the uh, things that you should carry for your initial day survival from India. So I'm coming from India, so I can uh, totally understand our mindsets and our food preference or it might be preference with any other thing. So all of these things will be addressed in this series. So stick with me. So in this first vlog, uh, we will be discussing about preparing essential documents and travel essentials. So the very first document that you should carry with you is your passport. So most of the students, whenever they are traveling, they tend to lose uh, some of the other documents. So please make sure passport is a very important document that you should have on you during your travel, even post your travel. So if at all you are traveling inside this abroad country, once you arrive, until you receive the ID card from your college, it's better that you carry your passport with you whenever you travel around the city. So the next document is the flight tickets. So please try to have the uh, flight tickets hard copy as well as a soft copy. So suppose if you lose the hard copy, you will at least have it on your drive so that you can show for the entry inside the airport in India and also during your transit. So you will need to show your documents for that. A very important thing is local currency. So suppose if you're traveling from India to UK or Canada or Australia or for say um, France. So you must carry some local currencies for your initial day of survival. So I have carried close to 2500 euros. And uh, yes, I, I was told that I will be getting a bank account done very soon. But due to some logistical problem, it is taking a lot of time. So what came handy is the local currency that I already had on me. So make sure you carry that. Plus, once you get all the currencies converted back in India, make sure you have the receipt with you. Because at times in the airport, uh, during immigrations, they might ask you to produce a receipt of this local currency. <coughs> Another? <laughs> make sure to get your passport uh, photos done. There's no doubt that you can get them done here as well, but it's always handy to have them done prior arriving to any other country because you don't know where you can get the passport size uh, uh, photographs, right? Uh, so at least carry 20 copies of your passport size pictures with you. As soon as you go to college, you might need to uh, give, give, give them one or two copies of your passport size pictures. So yes, have at least 20 copies of those. Next are the university documents. It could be your acceptance letter, your CAS letter or any sort of document which shows that, you're, that you are accepted in this college and the initial start of your college. So this will be asked at immigration and also security check if uh, maybe or may not be. But at the immigration, you will definitely have to produce it as a proof of your uh, abroad studies. So do have it on your phone, on a drive or a physical copy of that. Now is the government issued ID card. It's better if you have one of the cards like your DL or your Radha card so that you can produce it along with your passport in the uh, security check 
or the immigration. Next are your initial accommodation details. So for me, I was asked for my initial accommodation along with the full time, uh, the long term accommodation details uh, in the immigration at my transit and also during my uh, immigration back in India. So at times they may ask a shorter period of accommodation details and at times longer as well. So make sure you have both of them for an easy security check. Also make sure you carry your host details such as addresses and their contact number. Why? Because for me, um, as soon as I arrived in this country, it was pretty late in the night. And um, as I uh, walked outside, there was no uh, Wi-Fi. So uh, nor did I purchase any uh, SIM card at the airport because it was late. So I couldn't um, get access to internet. And uh, since I had a screenshot of the host details it came handy so that i could tell this to the cab driver to drop us at this particular location so make sure you have them written down somewhere or have a physical copy next is your birth certificate so in europe you are supposed to get your birth certificate translated and apostled so that people here can understand uh, the details of your birth certificate so make sure it is apostled because once you arrive here, it is going to be difficult for you to get it apostled sitting here in India. So make sure you do that before you arrive here. Next is the medical prescription. So I'm very sure you'll be carrying a good set of uh, uh, initial tablets or any medications that you need with you. So try to get a prescription from your family doctor or any doctor near your surroundings because at times it might be asked during the immigration or the security check <laughs> health and travel insurance are necessary or are mandatory in some of the countries but when it comes to france it was not because as soon as you arrive once you start going to your college you will be enrolled in the uh, plan by the college so it's going to be done by the college but please do check how your college has all this policy in place. So if it is mandatory, then please do take a travel and health insurance before you arrive to the country. So this was all about the travel document essentials. Make sure you check out the next video where I discuss about the cooking and kitchen essentials that you should be having along with you as soon as you arrive here. Bye.